Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Hope you're doing well. So today's video is definitely going to be different. I am not doing a painting. I am not doing a print. I'm not doing a charcoal. I'm not doing anything on a flat surface. I'm actually creating a sculpture for my sculpture and design class at university. And this video is part of the process where it will be submitted towards a dossier assignment. So the part of the process is, and it's going to sound really simple, but it makes you think. The process was I need to create a sculpture which is two feet by two feet by two feet out of cardboard or foam board or a similar material. And the criteria behind it is I need to have at least one triangle, uh, two circles, and I believe four triangles or rectangles. Sorry. So if you think about it, that's it. And it makes you think, oh, okay, this is going to be pretty easy, but there's the process behind it. Um, I mean, I could stack simple shapes on top of each other as long as they're within the two by two by two, or I could try and create a sculpture of something that I, um, people can recognize. And that is what I chose to do with this. I decided that I am gonna make a pool table and I'm gonna put uh, a, a rack on it. And that's where I get the triangle from is the rack where you put the balls in. The circle shapes I, that I need are actually going to be the balls as well as the foot pedals. And the rectangles are just going to be basically the sides and the top and the legs. So we're just going to go through this quick video. It was kind of fun. Um, it's funny because try and think of something that you would do under the same circumstances. And it's a lot harder than you would think. Um, especially when someone says it has to be two feet by two feet by two feet. Because that doesn't sound like much, but that's a pretty sizable box that you have to work with. Anyway, here we go. Hope you're having a good day. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support I'm getting. Here we go. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the rectangles were obviously the easiest part. As you can see there, there's the outside. This is roughly eight inches. I um, put the top on, some circles there for the holes. I'm just putting weights down, which are some people call coffee mugs, um, to keep the glue set. And here I go. I just did five balls. Um, I didn't want to overload it with too many. Um, did three solids and one stripe, if you're familiar with uh, pool and billiards. Um, but that's where the majority of my circles came from, as well as the base pads where the legs go on for the table. Um, just so you know, the bottom is meant to look like a carpet. So that is actually a full two by two by two sheet of foam board on the bottom. Um, the other thing to do is I left one of the balls white for the cue ball, which is pretty standard. There's my stripe there. There's uh, eight of each of those. Um, again, laying down, pretty simple. Uh, you can see the circles. I'm keeping a lot of it, other than the green tabletop and the, the colors of the balls, I wanted to keep this pretty straightforward and simple in terms of colors. We were able to color it, so I did add some with the felt as well as the uh, the balls. There's the upper rim. Again, pretty simple. My fancy weights for the coffee cups. I did that again. Again, this is the main triangle, which brought me to the fact I should do a pool cue and a pool table. The other uh, funny things I did just to make it slightly more realistic is I did a um, right there. I just put it down. That is a chalk to chalk the end of your pool cue with painted blue on the top because of the blue chalk. I also put a cue on top as well as an ashtray with a cigarette in it. That was my initial drawing there. Uh, we had to submit those and here are various angles of the picture. So I was pretty happy with it. Again, very different from a painting, but uh, I'm not in painting class. I'm in sculpture class, sculpture and design at University of Western Ontario. So lots of fun um, and uh, got some good feedback so far, but I haven't got a mark yet. Hopefully I'll keep you in touch. Thanks.